What's up, my soul tribe, my family, my love, love, lovies? How you doing? How is everybody doing today? Hi, Virgos. Sending you love, light, and positive energy as always. You know the vibes. Thank each and every one of you for all you do for our channel. Thank you for being here with me. Thank you for your love and support, your likes, shares, and subscribes, your bookings, your donations, everything that you do to make our channel grow and excel. I thank you. Special thanks to all my members. Welcome to all the new members and new subscribers. How y'all doing? Talk to me in the comments. Don't be shy. Okay, let's go ahead and see what's going on. Happy hump day, baby. You almost there, okay? You are almost there. You already know your girl coming with the vibes, okay? I'm coming with the vibes, all right? You ever need a boost of energy or you need to feel loved or reminded of how powerful you are, baby? Iron sharpens iron, and this is the iron for you, okay? Let's get into it. Let's see. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit, guys, we come and see you on 10, okay? Thanking you and feeling grateful for every blessing that's going on in our life, everything that you're doing, lessons and blessings. We are thankful filled with gratitude and overflowing with love and appreciation for ourselves and we're doing our best to love on others okay spirit is getting it's getting kind of different out here but you know what <laughs> you are the creator and the master of all things and nothing is more powerful than you so you can make anything balance out so we thank you in advance we thank you for your divine hand of protection around each and every one of us thank you for healing in our hearts minds bodies souls and spirits blocking and bonding all monitoring spirits blind every evil eye Block every familiar and unfamiliar spirit. Thank you for confusing the enemy on our behalf, stripping them of their armor and right, and letting every assignment that has been given to them to come and hinder us, trying to combat us or any toxic or negative energy that's being sent towards us and all of those demons or en enemies that are on assignment. Let their assignment come back null and void. We only rock with the light, okay? So thank you so much for com continuing to protect us with your divine love, light, giving us wisdom and guidance and using me as a powerful vessel of love and light for my Virgos and all who are watching. Amen. And we count it done. All right, drop your purple hearts, okay? Amen, amen, and amen. Look, it's always time for a quick prayer of gratitude and declaring and decreeing what's going to happen in your life and what's not, okay? You better make time for it. Show Virgo what's going on with them and their surrounding energy. All Virgo placements are welcome. Cross watches. Hey, y'all. Hey. All right. Don't come over here starting nothing, okay? All right, y'all. For Virgo. Show me clearly, angels. For Virgo. Time to cleanse your energy, Okay. Open your psychic senses, all right? Time to cleanse your energy. Angels are healing your energy. So you have angelic healing energy that needs to be protected. And every now and again, you need to cleanse, okay? So your angels, your gods are telling you to cleanse. Um, Right now, if you're doubting your intuition, don't, all right? Um, don't doubt your intuition. And make sure whatever intentions you have or whatever it is that you're tackling or thinking about doing, you're having crystal clear intention. Make sure that you aim directly onto whatever it is you want. Focus on whatever it is you want. It's like when you know something is for you, you know it's for you. So you focus on that thing. When you really want something to come into fruition and you're manifesting, you focus on that. All right. Just like you need to be focusing on yourself at this time, protecting your energy, cleansing, balancing, burn your sage, say your prayers. Um, spend some time in quiet time alone, all right? It's time for you to just pull away, take a step back, and regroup, okay, for someone here. Download divine love, all right? So this is talking about what you're pouring into you, I believe. I believe that this is talking about um, the frequencies that you connect to and what you choose to entertain. I will definitely read you what I have here regarding these messages. Let me see if I can find that book my loves let's see if we can find the book about your angels what, what card is this all right let's see i think i have it yes all right so let's read we're gonna tap in and take a look at to, to see exactly what spirit is wanting from you and what spirit is telling you to do at this time regarding your energy because it's something here telling you to cleanse it's also telling you to set crystal clear intention. It's telling you about downloading divine love. I feel like this is talking about what you're pouring in. 
and it's telling you about your angelic energy of healing. This energy could also be surrounding you at this time, protecting you from anything that's trying to hinder you, hurt you, or block you. All right. And then open your psychic senses. So let's take a look and see exactly what spirit is wanting you to do. So the first card is cleanse and shield your energy. So let's take a look at that. So page 19, let's go to page 19 and check and see what it says. So cleanse and shield your energy. This is Archangel Michael talking to you. It says you have absorbed some harsh energy. Take a moment to cleanse and shield your energy now. All right, so let's talk about how to cleanse your energy. This is a way to cleanse your energy. So listen up. All right, so this is saying imagine a waterfall of of light flowing around you to wash away all negativity, dense patterns of thought or limiting beliefs. Next, allow a shield of light to be placed around your entire being. When shielding, we angels recommend you call upon the shield of light that will most serve. Notice the color of light that appears now. So this is an exercise. So this light shield is multifold, serving to cleanse and elevate your vibration, to assist you in linking with the divine, with the angelic realm, and to protect you from negativity in all forms. We invoke your light shield. Um, it says when, invo when invoked, your light shield will last for about 12 hours, sometimes less in dense or negative situations. With your permission, we place this shield around you now, but encourage you to reapply it morning and night. When you feel a dip in energy and a drop in vibration, work with the waterfall of light to cleanse your being and reshield with divine light and the energy of love and joy. Your light shield allows guidance of your angels to permeate, but blocks out all that is not love. It says guidance, wisdom, and healing of your angels can pass through, but dense energy is repelled and released into the light of the divine. Okay, so guys, even if you have to rewind this and write it down so you can remember what to do every day, um, do this to cleanse your energy along with praying over yourself, burning your sage, burning your frankincense, burning your polysantos. Um, I have those things on my website. You can um, look it up as, as well as if you want to do a reading to see what might be around you or get any help that you might need from me. You can book a reading at closer the number to my destiny .com and check out whatever is there for your spiritual needs. OK, I also sell balancing bracelets um, and protection bracelets. OK, so now we have download divine love. So let's take a look at download divine love. I love this. These cards. OK. Um, let's see. And I will, and I, and I'm, and I will practice this exercise myself and I'll let you know how I feel and what happens and everything. So I'm constantly protecting myself, but I'm also constantly pouring into people and connecting with others energy, um, on a daily. So it's always, you always have to make time to protect yourself every day. Okay. I also have salt baths and the vanilla smells so good. The shea butter one also smells so good. Um, I have two tropical and shea butter, um, and it's oat milk. It smells so good, y'all. Um, so check out those baths, those bath salts. I made them reasonably priced for you guys, um, and I pray over each and every thing that I sell. All right, so let's move on, y'all. So download divine love. Let's see what spirit is telling you about download divine love. Um, I really feel like this has something to do with what you're pouring into um, yourself and what you're listening to or what you're around so let's see archangel orion it says your very being is similar to the technology of a computer and that you have the ability to access knowledge to run programs to access and translate the infinite fields of information all right into tangible readable and playable media and now the technology of your being is the process of, in process of upgrading all right so you're getting a divine upgrade so let's see what this is telling you about your divine upgrade. If this is resonating with you and touching your heart, then this is for you. So pay attention to what they're instructing you to do, okay? It says, within you, you're able to access infinite fields of light, information, wisdom, healing, and frequency. Yet you have no need to connect to the internet or anything external. For It says, for through your very being, you have permanent link to expansive unending field of all that is that is so true 
It says all you must do to connect so that you can browse through these fields of infinite possibility and download healing programs and or activations is enter through the space of your heart. This is how you do it. Quiet your mind, open your heart and become aligned with the energy of love. And with your intention, become crystal clear. Think of, think of a quality of the divine you wish to embody now. Focus on this quality and represent um, focus on this quality represented by a word and then think or say download now. Mm -hmm. This is true because this also works when you're trying to dismiss a negative thought. You can literally just simply say, thank you for sharing. I'm not interested in seeing that again. And it's gone. People just don't know that and it won't come back. If it comes back, you invite it back. And if it comes back, then you say the same thing, but it usually, it, it will leave you unless something triggers it. But let's get back to this. So think of a quality of the divine that you wish to embody now. Focus on this quality and say download now. With your intention, this quality downloads into your being because of your direct connection to the divine. It says you can download healing, love, clarity, joy, serenity, and illumination. These qualities are always accessible, but in downloading them is but in downloading them this way now, they become known, prominent, and highlighted as a main facet of your experience. Wow. So y'all practice that. Practice the power of your mind and the power of your connection to the divine and the power of your intuition um, and the ability to really connect and have whatever you want. This is you practicing your magician energy having all the tools you need to bring into fruition exactly what you want. So practice this. Take some time to yourself and really practice this. I will practice it with you guys. This is the first time I'm seeing these. Um, I know sometimes I have decks that I do go through and sometimes I have decks that I haven't had a chance to go through and these are relatively new. So I haven't really had a chance to fully go through these angel cards. But I know from the last time it was a really powerful reading. So let's continue. All right, but try these exercises out to cleanse and heal your energy and manifest some peace and love into your life. All right, so let's go to angel energy. Angel energy healing. All right, Archangel Orion, so angel energy healing. It says you have to, did I, did I just do this one? No, okay. So angel energy healing, it says you have the ability to channel pure divine love and angelic light through your mind, body, spirit, and to radiate this focused healing energy out from your life towards who you care about. It says this process is called angel energy healing and in the circulation of divine life force energy through your being, this flow of angel energy healing will help you resolve your current situation. Okay, so whoever this is resonating with, listen up. It says, to begin, think or say aloud, I now invoke divine white light and my team of angel energy healing guides and angels. Please come in, protect me and assist me in clearing my energy and vibration so I may clearly channel energy healing, light and love of the divine and angel send the way that I will most serve now. Hmm. It says, hold on, protect me and assist me in clearing my energy and vibration so I may clearly channel the energy healing, light and love of the divine. Angel, send this my way now. It says, I ask for clear guidance and assistance for my angel energy healing and the way that will most serve for the highest and greatest good according to the divine will. And so it is. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all might have to rewind that to write it down, but let's keep going. I'm a, this is what it says is going to happen. It says, as you simply breathe and relax, this healing light flows around your being. Notice the color and the qualities of the energy which is elevating your vibration and infusing your being with healing, well-being, and love. Now envision the healing energy surrounding and healing the situation. 
clearing the energy and elevating the vibration for all who are involved. Healing is happening. Trust the angels, trust that the angels are supporting you and that it is well within your ability to do this energy healing work. You may not want to further pursue energy healing by taking a course, reading a book, or inviting angels into your meditation with the intent to develop and uncover fullness of spiritual gifts of energy healing, which is yours to claim. So it says you may want to further pursue energy healing. Mm -hmm. Energy healing is a part of your purpose and is calling out for you to integrate it into your life experience now. So basically, spirit, with these angel cards, your angels are helping you elevate. They're helping you elevate into a new level of you being connected to the divine and actually using your gifts on your own. All right? Open your psychic senses. So let's go to open your psychic senses. This is helping you with everything that you guys asked for in your readings for a lot of you guys. So let's go to this one. Open your psychic senses and see what it says. And then we're going to get into um, the surrounding energy and find out why this came out. Um, and then we'll clarify everything with the tarot. All right. So it says open your psychic senses. This is from your gods and your angels. Okay. So this is a message from your gods and your angels. Let's see. It says let yourself feel and know your connection with spirit. Not with your physical senses, but with your inner subtle, subtle psychic senses and intuitive rep receptors. It says, which can be activated and attuned now. So you're ready for a lot of you guys. It's time for you to tap into your own power. And it's okay to seek guidance, especially from these readings. It's okay to let me pour into you. But it's so much more powerful when you're starting to tap into your own gifts and use them for yourself. I wish I would have heard a reading like this when I was first getting started with listening to tarot and healing, going through my tower moments and all of that stuff. Like, I wish I would have heard this. I literally had to, but God showed me, right? Because God will show you. If you ask God for help and you ask your angels for help, they will show you on your on their own. They'll give you the downloads you need to know this information. But um, let's move on. And it probably happened like that for a lot of you guys. So listen, it says, focus inside, open your heart, quiet your mind, and allow yourself to receive an activation of divine love. You have ways of perceiving spirit and tuning into the divine through your mind's eye and psychic sight, through your clairaudient hearing, and through feeling, perceiving, knowing, and more. All these psychic abilities are made possible and enhanced through the energy of love. Love is your access code to enter into the higher realms. Love is the doorway by which you are able to enter into the realm of spirit. Love is the key to unlocking your spiritual gifts, intuition, and psychic senses. Love is your greatest ally. Um, love is your greatest ally on your path of awakening. It says, we, your team of angels and gods and ascended masters are surrounding you in a circle of love now. And are simply shining understanding. Aww. Acceptance, forgiveness, nurturing, compassion, healing, and love energy around you. And through the increased love in your energetic field to open your psychic senses. Okay, so the more you love, the more you're growing and the more you're elevating. This is why it's important to at least be able to humble yourself to the point where you can open your heart. And not let your heart grow black and cold so you can be able to be more aware, more um, have more insight and be more elevated and more connected with spirit. All right, because that's where the gifts are. That's where you really get charged up at. That's what really gives you the power to see through certain situations and know exactly what to do and choose. It says continue one step at a time to respond with love to all you encounter on the put on the path of unfolding before you on the path that's unfolding before you. So you're on this path and things are happening and this is telling you to handle your situations with love and this is going to help you connect to the divine. Just because you love somebody doesn't mean that you let them run over top of you. This means that you stay grounded, you stay balanced and you operate from a place of, well, what can I do about this situation as far, I mean, as opposed to what I can. And instead of lashing out, being negative, you simply lovingly let them know how you feel and that you're not going to 
you know, deal with this situation anymore or whatever the case may be. You set boundaries, you set standards in a loving way and you move forward. Simple, right? This is saying this is a direct path towards realigning with your full power and with your full extent of your psychic abilities and spiritual gifts. All right. So if some of you guys have been holding back and being mean or being very harsh and negative, thinking about your situation toward people and everything, this is what's blocking your intuition. For those of you who feel like you're blocked, this is what's blocking you. Okay. This is what's doing it. All right, so last but not least, let's go through um, crystal clear intention. So crystal clear intention. This is from the Council of Light. It says, become crystal clear about what it is you would like to create. Your clear intention is the key for manifesting in the new paradigm. It says, focus your intentions now, allowing yourself to tune into the truth of your soul's desire. You can create anything, whether it's financial abundance, friendship, uniting with your soul family, or whether it's something small or grand doys, um, a vision for your future, whatever it is, you can create it. It says, start your day off with intention. An intention you can say when you're starting your day off is, I like this. Today, I am more loving than I've ever been before. Practice assigning deeper spiritual meaning to all of your actions too. As I eat breakfast, all beings find nourishment and spiritual fulfillment. Wow, okay. That's deep. <laughs> but it's telling you, it's telling you how to use your power, right? And it says with awareness and persistence, I mean, yeah. No, with awareness and, pre and presence, Focus on your crystal clear intention now. Quiet your mind and open your heart to tune into the truth of what you desire. Next, feel what it would be like to have your intention manifest. Hear what it would sound like to have your attention in your experience. Know that anything is possible for you. Hold on to the vision of your intention coming true. Paint the picture in your mind similar to how you remember a lovely conversation or a beautiful place you visited. Infuse your intention with positive thought, belief, and vibrant energy of your soul light. It says, know that you are worthy of what you have chosen to call out from the vast field of infinite possibility and to invite into your personal experience. Remain positive and clear about your intention. It will further illuminate your path before you. Okay, so wow, with this crystal intention card, it just broke down how to manifest whatever it is you want. So it's important for you guys, if you need to rewind that, rewind it, listen to it, and write it down. All right, because this is this is facts. This is how I changed my life. This is how I'm still manifesting more and more to this day. I get whatever I want. Whatever I set my intentions on, whatever I focus on, and whatever I picture in my mind, I bring it to me. And this is this is real, all right? So if this is what you really want to do, be able to manifest and use your power, follow these tools. It literally broke it down for you. So the majority of you are wondering how you can do this and how do I tap into that and how do I get this because it came out. All right. And this is from your angels and spirit guides. So now, y'all, let's go ahead and move into the next part of your reading where we um, tap into the overall surrounding energy and see what situations may be going on around you or what it is that spirit wants you to know at this time about what's, whatever it is surrounding you. OK, so we're going to tap into that. Let's see what you need to know. start here let me see how many minutes oh it's been 24 minutes i know y'all like you gotta get that tarot huh let me skip this i'm gonna go to the other cards hold on see what situations are surrounding you at this time now, let me use the other ones holy spirit holy angels ancestors and spirit gods for virgo someone rising venus in the home what situations are surrounding them at this time? What's surrounding my Virgo at this time? What do they need to know? What brought these 
Um, look, cleanse your energy is the one on the top. So cleanse your energy, guys. Um, make sure you follow that exercise. I'll be doing it too. I'm gonna let you know how I feel afterward. Um, I have connected with my ascended masters, my angels, and my Akashic records. I've opened them, so I do know how it feels to truly connect to the divine and to the other realm, okay, of your ascended masters and your guides. All right. So I'm going to see how this um, is, okay? It basically sounds like it will be the same experience, but you guys try this exercise, these exercises, and let me know how it made you feel. Let me know if your energy got cleansed. Let me know how you feel about it. I really like these cards. So let's see. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Now I see why I was drawn to get them. For Virgo. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. Why did STD come out? Lord have mercy. Bullying, sexual abuse, physical abuse, toxic parents, and abandonment. Oh my God. What is this? Y'all see this? A fresh start. So somebody has overcome some very traumatic things. And this is what makes you... This is why karma. So this is deep. This is very, very deep what we have on the board. This is, oh my God, this is another shocking message. And now I see why all of that energy came out because somebody here really needs to deep cleanse. It's like you really need to cleanse your inner wounds. This is a lot. So... There's something about a STD here, a fresh start. We're about to just get the tarot so we can break this down as we go along so I can find out what the heck this is. Okay, let's go ahead and get started, y'all. This shocked the crap out of me. Like, I mean, I feel like it's necessary. Like, somebody really needs to hear this message. I feel like somebody needs cleansing. This could talk about somebody's past, somebody's childhood, something that somebody could be going through right now. Somebody is faking a pregnancy, all right? Fake news, DNA pregnancy, some type of STD situation is here. Like, what the heck? Somebody is moving, buying a house. Sell Look, somebody is on a fresh new start. I feel like somebody escaped this type of life. Like, whatever this is with childhood, trauma, bullying, sexual abuse, toxic parents, and abandonment, any of these could resonate with you. But this is the reason why you were chosen. This is the reason why you were chosen to go through this spiritual awakening. This is the reason why things happened in your life the way that they did because you needed to break free from this. And I feel like if something didn't really rock your foundation and push you into tapping into your gifts realizing that you are special you are loved you are chosen then you never would have tried it you never would have found out how powerful you truly are some of the situations that i'm looking at right now are very unfortunate and if this is you that had to deal with childhood wounds and bullying sexual abuse physical abuse abandonment and toxic parents i, I really feel for you and my heart goes out to you um a loved child Somebody here could feel like a love child or they they were a love child. Somebody could be having a love child or they want a love child with their twin flame. But somebody got ghosted. Somebody pretended that they were pregnant and, and this twin flame ghosted them anyway. So I feel like this could be your twin. It's so... First of all, let me just talk about, let's see, STD. Show me why STD is here. Because I feel like, wow, the hermit. Somebody is sick. Somebody contracted an STD from someone. Somebody could be dealing with somebody who has been staying to themselves. This could be a Virgo. If this is you, my heart goes out to you because it's a lot of people that's struggling with the same thing, but they don't say anything. It's a lot of people that's struggling with STDs and going through hell and they don't talk about it. They spread their hate. 
They spread their drama. They hurt other people. They spread the disease. Like it's, it's a lot, right? So if this is you listening to me and you're seeking help, you're seeking love, you're seeking just a community that will love you, then you're here, right? We are that community and I'm sending you my love, light, and positive energy. Like I said, I am a light worker, all right? God is with me. I work for the divine. I'm not, I'm more than just, I, I, I'm not a tarot reader. I'm a spiritual advisor, a counselor, okay? And I know how to read tarot. But really, I'm reading your energy. I'm reading your soul, your spirit. And I'm speaking to your inner child about the things that will help you grow and heal. Because I know inevitably that's what y'all want. You want to know how to get past certain situations. Get out of certain habits. Get out of a certain mind frame and a mindset. And focus. It's more about money. It's not just about money over here. Like I know. Somebody does have an opportunity for a fresh start. Somebody's experiencing the worst type of situation at this time. And I keep getting the police, the police being called. I just feel like somebody's going through a traumatic situation. Let's keep going. Show me the hermit with this STD. Which is granted. Six of cups. So I feel like all somebody really wanted to do and they've accepted their fate, they've accepted their karma, but all somebody really wanted to do was get a fresh start, start their life over, have some new things happen for them. Somebody could be wishing for you and this person stays to their self. Somebody really does have some type of disease and I feel like this could be fatal for somebody. But somebody is wishing to come back to your life, wishing for you to come back to their life. Somebody is cherishing the memories that they had of you, of the past, of childhood. Somebody's very nostalgic, thinking about how their life changed and the decisions that they could have made. But we got wishes granted here. And I just feel like, I feel like somebody here... And this could be just a Virgo that you're dealing with. But I feel like this is a Virgo. And they feel like their life is over. Sometimes they feel like their life is over. But God is stepping in, giving this person an opportunity for a fresh start, a new life, a new chance. Somebody is finding out that they're undetectable. This means that you can't spread it. This means that whoever gets it. I mean, this means that you can't give it to a sexual partner anymore, but you still do carry that variant. Somebody's finding that out. Like, and they feel like God gave them another chance. Oh my God, y'all, this is so deep. It almost feels like somebody's personal reading. <sighs> Whatever the trauma that you may have experienced, God is saying that he loves you and he never left your side. And no matter how hard it might seem, you have the power, the resources, and the spiritual gifts to overcome this. And you can get out clean. All right? It's already starting for you. Somebody's going to find this out. Like your life is not over. You got another chance. Moving, buying a house, selling a house, a new city, a new state, a career change, left a toxic relationship, fresh start. Somebody is making it out. God is helping you turn your life around. You're getting, it's like you're getting beauty for your ashes. Show me moving, buying a house. Knight of Cups. This is representing spiritual love. This is also representing some type of flowing attraction. We could be talking to, um, talking about a water sign. A younger Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio feel like something is going to happen. Somebody's been manifesting some type of justice here with moving, having a fresh start. You're manifesting your reward. And the divine basically showed you, the divine is responding to your prayers, to your affirmations. And these manifestations are about to hit, right? And they're about to start coming through back to back to back. Because whatever trauma that this is that you have been enduring, enough is enough. You've been through hell. Somebody is telling me that they've been through hell. And thank God I don't look like what I've been through. Thank God I don't wear it. But now it's time for you to receive justice. This is your justice. This is your justice for that, that traumatic childhood that you had. 
for all the hell that your family might have put you through. For all the different things that you've experienced in your life that were unfair and that you didn't deserve. Now you're getting your justice for that. Things are going to balance out for you. Prepare for life to start getting a little bit easier. These exercises that came out in the spiritual portion of your reading are really going to help you overcome these obstacles. They really are. It's important that you make your prayer life strong. Manifest and speak life over your situations. Talk to yourself in the mirror. Journal down how you feel. All of these things help and saves you thousands of dollars going to, to a therapist, even though for some, you need it. For some, you need that face-to-face -face connection, that really close bond with your therapist and somebody you can really trust to pour out to, pour into. Don't be scared because my sister goes to therapy. She does. And she said it really work. It helps her so much. For her, her marriage and whatever she's going through in her, her life, like she goes to therapy for it to help her process a lot of things that she needed to process. You know, after you get a certain age, you make your own choices, you do your own things. And it's not always right, but we learn from trial and error. We grow, right? And sometimes those experiences, some of that residue still sticks and you may need to get rid of it in another way. But definitely try these exercises that we went through first, all right? This is a deep one, y'all. It's time for your justice, though. Nobody can see your scars, okay? Nobody can see... Even though it feels like you wear your trauma, you don't, all right? And that's one blessing about it. Like God shelters you. God hides you when he knows that you're in pain or you've experienced a horrible situation. He'll hide you from the people that he knows will just hurt you or dig, dig deeper into those wounds. So just balance your energy. Do your best to love yourself. Don't, don't give up on yourself, all right? I love you. I appreciate you. You're here watching. So that says a lot. That says so much to the universe about you making the effort to try to better yourself. Let's see what else. An effective ruler. Somebody's telling me that it's somebody here that took advantage. Somebody's taking advantage of their power. This is what somebody is telling me. That somebody took advantage of their power. And traumatize somebody here. And this could be a male or a female. But this is the emperor in reverse. This is somebody who you were supposed to trust. That treated you bad. But you're going to get justice. For this situation. Because somebody deliberately was tormenting you. Somebody deliberately abandoned you. Somebody deliberately made you feel less than. And you're so much more than that. What's this police? This card came out yesterday. The lovers. Somebody could have became a police officer. Patient, balanced. Maybe the police, law enforcement needed to be called or somebody pressed charges on somebody for what they did. But there's going to be a positive outcome here. Patience and balance. There's going to be a positive outcome here. Because somebody fought dirty. Somebody somebody constantly wanted to attack you. Somebody constantly tried to make you feel less. Somebody constantly tried to make you feel bad. Show me five of swords. Knight of swords. An unstoppable force. Yeah. I feel like. This is you taking charge of the situation in this Knight of Swords energy. This is you not looking back, having tunnel vision, knowing what you want, knowing what you deserve, and getting the hell out of there. Somebody was like, I can't take it anymore. For somebody, this was sexual assault. But it's basically telling me that you've been through so much trauma, so much hurt, so much pain. And now it's finally time for you to get justice. So now spirit is helping you heal. Your angels are telling you to tap in, to don't let your heart be hardened. It's telling you to, basically your angels are telling you to still find a way to be loving. Still find a way to be grateful. Still find a way to be positive. Because all of these energies raise your frequency to where you're bringing in what you want. 
somebody understands that because it's happening. Somebody's getting a second chance at life. And then down here, we have somebody who could have been trying to play games, trying to keep you stuck. But here, the Ten of Cups with the Six of Wands, this is a recognized victory for you. This is a recognized victory, right? This is saying that you will be emotionally fulfilled and you will have the life that people are talking about and it's no more talking bad. They're going to be impressed. People are going to be impressed. People already look at you as strong and determined and blessed by the divine with the Six of Cups and the Six of Wands and the Nine of Cups and the Ten of Cups. You have to fight, though. You have to stand your ground. You can't give up. You got to keep going. And for somebody, it's a situation dealing with a person, dealing with a relationship. Whatever this is, somebody abused their power to the point where it traumatized you. It made you heart, it made you heartbroken. It made you feel empty. It made you feel lost. And so these are your angels recur um re not recurring. Something was reoccurring. But this is your angels reassuring you that you have the power to change things. You have the power to heal your heart, balance your energy, heal your mind, calm your mind, right? Cleanse your soul. So don't give up. Don't give up, okay? Now let's talk about this energy down here for somebody who resonates with this energy at the bottom. This is talking about fake news of fake pre pregnancy, DNA. Why is this here? Ace of Wands and the Tower, a painful transition. So some type of fake news. Somebody is... Somebody could be pretending to be pregnant. But it's like when somebody told somebody they was pregnant, this person ended it. It's like somebody found out that somebody was lying about a pregnancy. This could even be somebody that you're dealing with. Somebody was lying about a pregnancy, though. And Virgo, if this is you, you need to get proof. Somebody's lying about this pregnancy. Okay, somebody's lying, all right? And it could be your twin flame, somebody lying to keep you. This is somebody abusing their power. They know that you'll believe them. They know that you care, and so they'll lie. For some of you, somebody told your person that they were pregnant to destroy your relationship. For somebody, there is a child involved. Somebody could have made a love child behind your back and... And ghosted. It's like somebody is off and on. Detached. What's this love child? A page of coins. An ace of cups. So somebody's pregnant. So this could be talking about somebody's life who is pregnant. A king of cups. Somebody could be dealing with a king of cups that has a love child. Somebody got somebody pregnant. So somebody made a love child. But they found out that this wasn't their child. So I feel like whatever happened, if somebody left you or somebody broke up with you or destroyed your relationship and you found out about a pregnancy, it wasn't even their child. They found out that they ruined this relationship or nothing. It wasn't even their child. And now they feel left out in the cold with the five of coins. Yeah, eight of swords, self-doubt, trapped. Thinking about everything that they did wrong to you. And they they it's like whatever they did to you happened to them. So whoever this is, for some of you guys, it's parents. For some of you guys, it's a relationship. It's telling me two different stories. But it's like they're intertwining. Seven of Swords, some type of hidden deceit. Somebody played them. And I feel like because they tried to play you, they got played. Wow. These situations are heavy. The world, a triumph, triumphant completion. So somebody lied. Somebody's telling somebody that they're pregnant. They're faking it so somebody can give them money. And it looks like they got an abortion. Mm. Wow. They did this with the four. I just saw the four pinnacles. They did this to try to hold on to somebody. Just so they could work something out with somebody. So somebody can make them more of a priority. They lied. And the tower's coming crashing down. So this is going to be short-lived. 
I just hear silence. Y'all hear it? It's just, I don't hear a car. It just got, it's like the end of the, the, everything got sucked out of the room for a second because it's exposed. Wow. Y'all, these are some deep situations. I'm telling you. The whole, but, but what Spirit wants you to know is be bold. All right. There's notable growth here. Be patient to succeed. This is also talking about you having the courage to keep going to move forward. All right. There's a blessing in this storm. Okay. So, so don't be discouraged. Keep going. Keep moving. You got the nine of cups. You got the 10 of cups. You got the six of wands. You got the magician. Your manifestations are about to come to pass. And a lot of this stuff that you went through was to make you stronger. All right. Show me the ineffective ruler. Oh, unnecessary ending. Yeah, it's over for somebody. It's over for somebody. And I feel like somebody is going to get fired. Something is happening here. It is over for somebody. Maybe somebody even passed away. Somebody could have been thinking about the person who did something to them and they passed away. Because somebody here is reliving some type of childhood trauma and they're thinking about it. Something triggered this. And I feel like this heartbreak down here from this person lying, another person who you're supposed to trust deceiving you. I feel like that triggered you. Moving forward. Yes. Find the strength to move forward. Somebody is feeling like they're moving on the calmer waters. It's like, I'm not going to let this stop me. It's a needed change here. Something needs to change. And somebody saying, I'm not going to let this stop me. I'm all in and determined to do whatever I got to do to live a better life. This is what spirit wants you to do. Wow, y'all. That was so deep. That was so deep. Be confident. Shine your light. Take up space. You don't need anyone's approval. You deserve to be proud of who you are. Okay? That's what I have for you, my loves. Thank you for being here with me, and I will see you on the next video.